How to help your child with their maths GCSE without shelling out a fortune on a tutor. Who am I? Hi, my name is Julie and I'm a mum of two teenage daughters. Being a hands-on mum while also running my own business means having to juggle lots of things. That's why I'm always on the lookout for quicker and easier ways to do things. And that includes helping with schoolwork and revision, especially maths. I always bought the idea that when it comes to maths, you've either got it or you haven't. And sadly for me, and my children too for that matter, I fall in the latter as maths definitely didn't come easy for me. So no surprise then that when I tried to tutor my youngest daughter in maths, it was a disaster. I tried everything. Maths tutors, exam boards, revision books, YouTube, BBC Bite Size, trying my hand at tutoring, but nothing seemed to work. Until I finally discovered something that actually did work. And better still, it cost even less than just two private sessions with a maths tutor. I was intrigued. I knew there had to be an easier way to help children with maths. One that didn't involve trying to drill masses of information in a monotone fashion. So what was this solution that I found and can it work for anyone? Well, that's hard for me to say because without knowing your child, I don't know whether they will follow what is taught step by step and apply it to their own maths GCSE revision. But what I can say with confidence is this. Not only did my own daughter go on to achieve a target grade, but there are many other examples of students who have applied the same system to and gone on to achieve amazing results, including Mohammed, who went from a D grade to a B. Here's a copy of his testimonial. And there's George too, who went from a C to an A star. And there are many more testimonials like these too, but sadly I don't have enough time to cover them all right now. I only wish I discovered it sooner. My only regret is that I didn't come across this solution sooner, as sadly I didn't come across it until just before her maths GCSE. Luckily she still smashed it, but we could have avoided so many months of hard work and frustration if we'd only discovered it sooner. Because the scary thing is this, GCSE maths comes around so quickly, first it's the mocks, then before you know it, it's the actual thing. Therefore, the sooner you tackle helping your child with the maths GCSE, the better. Better for their grades, but also better for their mental health too. So, what's the magic solution? Well, there is no right real magic as such, it's simply a case of knowing the right things to do and the right time to do them. You're about to discover the three main success tips that you need to adopt if you want to help your child to achieve their best grade in Maths GCSE. Tip number one, practice, practice, practice. When it comes to Maths, practice really does make perfect. The secret is to ensure that your child practices on as many past papers as possible as that's one of the main factors when it comes to achieving a better grade in Maths GCSE. Ah, but trying to find past papers and the corresponding answers is such a time-consuming chore, I hear you say. Well, that's where number two comes in. Tip number two, copy what other successful people do. If you want to achieve an A-star in Maths GCSE, find someone else who has also got an A-star at Maths GCSE. An A-level too, for that matter. That's what I did, and that's how I came across this solution. And there were lots of exam-style questions to practice on too, as well as tons of other stuff, which is explained step by step. Tip number three, focus on the 20%. Ever hear the saying 80% of your results come from just 20% of your efforts? Well, it's true, and this without doubt is the most important tip to know when it comes to achieving an A-star in maths. It's so simple that once you know, you'll be kicking yourself that you weren't already doing it. No surprise then that this is how pupils in private schools are taught to revise. And it's not complicated either. It's simply a case of reversing the way that most students currently revise for their maths GCSE which will also massively reduce hours of note-taking simply by starting at the end instead of the beginning. 
Confused? Don't worry, I was too. I was really frustrated though when I discovered how easy and obvious it actually was. Especially as it would also have reduced my daughter's revision time in half and would have helped her to improve her maths GCSE grade much sooner too. So, what is the solution? Introducing how to pass your maths GCSE in four weeks. So what exactly is it and what is covered? Here are just a few of the golden nuggets included in this easy to follow maths program. Almost 200 pages of tutorials on how to simplify maths GCSE covering both foundation and higher tier. And eight hours of video tutorials showing step by step how to answer exam style questions. Plus numerous bonuses including tricks of the trade shortcuts, tips on how to prepare for all GCSE exams, plus the secret of how to achieve an A star whilst also cutting your maths revision time in half. Simply by reversing how we traditionally revise by starting at the end rather than the beginning. All this and more, including easier techniques to answer exam style questions just like this one. Here's a quick example of a past paper question that's covered in the course. Question. The price of a t-shirt has been dropped by 20%. The reduced price is £6. Calculate what the full price of the top was. Now, I don't know about you, but my brain usually goes to jelly when I'm confronted with questions like this. However, here's the good news. There's a quick formula that you can use to answer this type of question, and here it is. If the t-shirt has been dropped by 20%, then this means the £6 equals 80% of the original price. Are you with me so far? Now all we need to work out is what the full price of the top was, i.e. the 100%. The easiest way to do this is as follows. 80% is £6, so you divide that by 8, which leaves the figure for 10%, which is 75 pence. And then you times that by 10 to get the 100% value, i.e. the full price of the top, £7.50. Meaning that the full cost of the t-shirt before the sale was £7.50. Go ahead, try other examples yourself using different numbers. Then check your answers on a calculator. That's what I did. Now I'd love to share more examples with you, but sadly I don't have enough time within this short video. But if you'd like to know more on how to copy what I used when it came to helping my daughter with maths GCSE revision, then who better to explain it to you than the person who actually followed this exact formula to achieve his own A-stars? Introducing Jeevan, who will explain it in more detail for you. Including the crazy low price that he's currently offering it for, which by the way is less than just the cost of two private maths tutoring sessions, or even an average takeaway meal for that matter. But before I introduce you to Jeevan, there's something important that I quickly want to add. If you click on my link, there is a chance that I may be paid a small affiliate commission. Just want to reassure you though that you won't pay any extra for the product, the cost will be exactly the same to you. The commission, if applicable, will be paid to me direct by the product owner. So, are you ready to find out more about the secret to helping your child get the best grade at Maths GCSE? Here are the details. Thanks for watching my video on how to help your child with Maths GCSE. I sincerely wish your child every success with the GCSEs. Now, just click on the link below for more information on how to pass Maths GCSE in four weeks. Good luck!